Rob here at eTrailer.com and today you're going to be taking a look at the Roadmaster replacement cable for the Invisibrake braking system. Now there's a few different reasons why you might need a replacement cable. Maybe your cable broke, got damaged, or if you bought a new vehicle and you want to put your Invisibrake in there, the second vehicle kit for our Invisibrake is not going to come with the cable, so you're going to need to reuse the one from the old kit. But I don't really like that idea because the cable is what's going to control our brakes and if it does have any damage that's a really big safety issue. I always suggest replacing the cable for a few different reasons. If we look at our cable here you can actually see where it is starting to get damaged. Now it is just on the outside but we don't know the condition of the cable on the inside if there's any frays, bends, cracks, or any breaks. So it's a good idea to replace it. Now whether you're replacing your cable because it's damaged or you're transferring it to a new vehicle and you don't want to use the old one, we're going to need to get it into the pulley. You might be wondering how to get the cable in place because as you can see, we can't just wrap it around because then it's going to be interfering right here. So if we grab our pulley, we'll pull the cotter pins out of the side and let the pins drop out. And we want to take our cable and we're going to make sure that it's wrapping around the pulley and it comes over the top. Just like that. We'll make sure the bottom is tucked away. We can take our pins, make sure the pins go all the way through. And then we can replace the cotter pins. And once you have both pins in place, our cable's ready to get installed. And once you do have your pulley mounted up, I'm going to route the cable straight down. Now I cut a chunk out of the carpet and the insulation there, so I don't have to worry about the cable rubbing, but just a small channel, and we anchored our cable directly to the floorboard here using some self-tapping screws. Now if you did choose to replace your cable, you can also replace the cylinder, and it's just going to screw into the end of the cable here. Just want to make sure it's nice and secure. And nice and snug. And we just take our excess slack and I like to hide it underneath the carpet and you just kind of want to put a gentle S curve. You don't want any extreme tight angles on it, just a nice slow curve taking up all that excess slack. Now on the cylinder itself, we're going to have a very small air fitting on there. And that's where that eighth inch air line is going to go. All we have to do is push it in, you'll feel a little bit of resistance. Then you want to push down further until it completely bottoms out. It's not a bad idea to give it a quick tug and make sure it's not going to come out of the fitting. Once that's in there, we can take our air cylinder and for our application, I'm actually just going to tuck everything under the carpet and it's going to be hidden right underneath the seat here. So again, just make sure we have that S curve under the carpet. Then we can take our cylinder Tuck it all the way underneath the seat. Make sure we don't have any sharp bends or anything. And that the carpet will lay flat when we put everything back in. Now once you do start putting all your panels and carpet back in place, you want to make sure you cut out a section so that the carpet's not going to be directly on the pulley. You want to cut it out so it's nice and away from it. And just trim up a little piece around it. Then we can start putting all the panels and everything else back in place. So whether you're transferring your Invisibrake to a new vehicle or you just need to replace a broken cable, the replacement cable is going to be a lot easier and more cost effective to replace than trying to replace the entire braking system. But that will finish up your look at the Roadmaster replacement cable for the Invisibrake braking system.